getting ready to fly the Waco. Wind's picked up a little bit. God, I'm glad because it's getting starting to get warm. It was uh, in the low 80s when we started, and we went for about a 50 minute walk and run to go. <laughs> you got tired, he's heading for the shade. <laughs> Waco, Waco time, get out of here away from the car, in fact I guess I'll, I'll do a control line turn here, stay under the sun, go out here away from the car a little bit. Kind of hung off the prop and stalled. <laughs> I'm flying it with a 2800 four cell. My favorite battery is a 2600, but I got two 2600s and then a 28 and a 33, so I'm going to save the lighter batteries for the Waka. Not that it matters. They'll work in both planes. I mean, I fly, I fly anything from a 22 in my Waka, 2200 to a 4000. I kind of lost that because I saw the Vulture up there and I kind of took my eye off the plane at just the right moment. Brought my glider. Linda's gonna, she's gonna go get a soda and come over and pick up two coat and take him home. And it's kind of hot. He's doing all right. He's gone through a bottle, a liter and a half of water, either drinking it or spilling on him. Or... Time remaining eight minutes. So he's doing well. He's not overly hot, but it's funny when in the summer he beats me to the car. But in the winter and when it's cool, it's like, he's like, I don't want to go to the car. Because I walk him, I walk him and then really run off leash. There's only one way out of the fence here. Of course, that's right out there on the highway right in front of me here. But... He does a pretty good job of coming when I call him, especially if I have treats. I didn't have treats today, and I got him, I had him come maybe three, four times, and we're out off leash. It's kind of how I work with him. Whoa. Time remaining, seven minutes. Whoa, well, I guess the wind caught it there, because I was going to say it did something I didn't do with the controls. I thought, uh oh, I lost a servo. Servos are good. But I lost the aileron servo the way it juked. Friend has heard me talking about the red one. This plane. It's my first full size aileron plane. The first one I bought, the plane I bought to learn on was the DC 3 by Dynam. I just kind of mothballed it. I just kind of mothballed it um, Friday after I got back from flying. Or no. Uh, Wednesday, because I took the receiver out of it. I was going to use it in the SIG, but, but I didn't use it because it's a, it's a DMS. I wanted a DMSX, a DMS2. I wanted a DMSX receiver for the SIG. So I took the receiver out of it. I'll, I'll probably put it back in. It still flies. It's just... It's got more tape and hot, it's probably I don't know how many sticks of hot glue that thing's got in it, but 
Like I said, I bought it to learn, bang the heck out of it. And then my buddy Rick that I fly with, he talked me in to, before it was damaged too much to put it away and get a Super Cub. And time remaining, as I, five minutes. As I found out many a time, listening to Rick is about the smartest thing I do when it comes to a lot of things. <laughs> Ole! <laughs> I ain't done an Ole in a while. <laughs> yeah, that's on the third page of the AMA, AMA rules. It's the Ole. I like doing it. Except for sometimes when I'm moving. Because I was still putting input on the sticks when I was moving. Alright, let's see if we can bring it in. Winds are tricky. They're not steady from any one direction. There we go. Trying to land it right in front of me here. Oops. Go around. Time remaining. Four minutes. Man, my battery my battery started getting weak there. That's why I had to kind of put it down. All right, let's get the last landing in of the day. Back to the Ole. Time remaining, three minutes. Well, that ain't gonna cut it. I thought my battery was bad. I stopped, checked my battery, it's, good. it's okay. It was just a gust. There we go. There we go. Fly to Luaco. A little fast on the landing, but it's not a stall plane. Tell you the truth, I don't like that extra weight of the batteries. I'd rather fly with 2600s. And that 28 is has never been a very good battery. It's a Hobby King battery. And it it like I think the first time I charged it it puffed. I guess I should have checked the IR on it and stuff. I don't do that a lot on my batteries because one, I don't really, you know, I mean, if they still have power, I fly them. If I feel like they don't have power, I don't. And when I look at the IR, all it, do, all it does is make me mad. 